Hello, today I want to show you just a little program where you can do your thermodynamic calculation and stuff. It's called RevProp and you can download it for free in a mini version. Uh, if you just google RevProp mini, um, the first link should take you to a site like this. Then you can download the mini ref.exe and execute it right away. It will launch a program like this. And uh, in this video I will show you the basic functionality of the program that you are able to do your own calculation with it. So, as I said, it is a thermodynamic program. It has quite a few substances with its material properties implemented. And for that reason you have substance here. And um, the substances are divided in different categories. For example, pure fluid. You can select carbon dioxide press OK. So the substance CO2 or R744, um, how it is called in uh, the refrigerant industry, is now selected. Next thing what you want to do is you want to change the units to your preferences. So options units shows you the currently selected units. And for my purpose I like to use SE with Celsius and pressure I like to change into bar. But that depends from your case of uh, industry and from your uh, case of calculation. So you are able to change that to your needs. Press OK. Now this, uh, the, uh, the units are set. And now I can, for example, plot a pH diagram. For example, plot pH diagram and select the values uh, which are um, in this case pre-selected, just press OK, something like that. Now maybe I want to analyze also the two-phase area, then I will go and just do another blot. And here um, I will check Rommel, no, uh, connect saturation states, I think, yes. Then I have the lines also in um, the two-phase area. Next thing I want to do maybe is I want to modify the values where the temperature is taken. For example, minus 50 to 200, I will change to 100 at the maximum and the step size will change to 10. I may also want to see the entropy between uh, one point, it's a comma in here actually, uh, 1,8 and 2 um, with a step size of 0 0.05. Alright, let's check that again. You see that you have the entropies as well. So this is nice to have <clears throat> for your thermodynamic considerations. You can easily print that out as well and do your um, draw your specific state points and uh, do your calculations. Now as you see that you could read the values from the entropy and the pressure right here but that's not enough. It's certainly not uh, precise enough. Uh, for that reason you have also here a calculate uh, option where you can do your saturation tables um, calculation for example. You have a uh, vapor liquid saturation, maybe you want to vary the pressure and just press OK. Now you have your initial pressure in bars, maybe I want to go from 10 bars to 30 bars, so I have 20, 10 and 30 increment 1, it's a bit coarse, maybe we do 0 0.1 comma actually and press OK and then you have a saturation table and this have uh, this has a lot of uh, values uh, that, that you may, may need but it's certainly not uh, sufficient for every uh, case and for that reason you can also check here the properties the properties shows you what you will get from your calculation ta tables. So for example you can also say I want the volume to be plotted out or a CP value. 
um, the thermal conductivity, viscosity or something like that. It may happen that this is not implemented in the mini version, then it will say I have no equation for that. But um, for the most things you will get equations or values. Let's do that again. Um, in this case we will do uh, specific state points or saturation points at equilibrium. Here we can um, both give a temperature and pressure value and then get the others. For example, I, I hit here minus T degrees and it automatically uh, calculates where the pressure is at a saturation point. So minus 2 degrees would be like here and the pressure would be like here and you see 34, um, 33 bars meets that roughly. Okay, and now you see all the, the other um, values I added here. And so you can uh, go on, insert your values, mark that and copy that, paste it in Excel for example, and do a whole um, bunch of stuff in here. So it's a nice little program which um, is free. I recommend using it for your thermodynamic calculation. And that's uh, <laughs> sort of tip of the day. Uh, good luck with that and thanks for watching.